Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, um, what I'm going to be doing today is, uh, my mom's out here in the greenhouse, and she's learning how to harvest some different flowers here. So, um, this is the swimming pool of Celosia here. You can see she's already has one Celosia cut over, over here. This is a crusted Celosia here. And I'm going to be showing her how to harvest the celosia to get multiple harvests out of it. So this one here is ready to go. And I like to harvest my celosia before the flowers open on these because these little things right here will actually open to flower. And if you don't catch them at just the right spot, they'll go to seed. So you can see there's still some down here that are still opening, but this one here is nice and ready to go. So you have your pruners here. And you can see there's some leaf sections down here. So we're actually going to take this one right above this leaf right here. Yep. Yep. And this is going to branch off here. And that's going to give another side shoot. There we go. Got some beautiful ones here. Yep. Yeah, you can go down one more. Yep, right there. There you go. And this one here is beautiful. Look at that beautiful pink. That's gorgeous. Oh, there. That is really pretty. Yep. There you go. Right here. Is that too much too low? Hold on here. Let me see. Come here. up here maybe. I'm looking here. Okay. Um, yeah, come right about here. Yep. Yep. And then these are down here. We'll branch off for more side branches. So, yep, you're doing good. Now, these little ones over here. Are they too small? Or what? No, see, they're opening. They have the okay. little flowers here that's opening. Okay. So, they're definitely ready to take. Okay. If you let them go too long, they go to seed. Right, right here. Yep. There yeah, Dad ate it and look neither. So, this one here. Now, some of these. Like if you want something for like a bowl filler, you can just take the top off. Go ahead and cut that right there. Okay. Yep. Right here? Yep. And there you'll have something for a bowl filler. And then this right here will sh have another flower coming that's just um, a little underdeveloped yet for uh, harvesting. So yeah, go ahead and keep looking here. You're doing really good. I have a fierce one. These, yep. I don't... Okay, we have one right here. What do I do? Um, that one there, kind of a short stem. Just go ahead and take the top. Just a head? Yep, just the, just take the head of that one. Right here? Yep. Yep, and that's going to let that bottom one grow. It's going to branch off. Like this one here is branching off. And it's going to give more. Okay. There, yep. There's a little one, but I, it's hard to see. Yeah, you can just take the head of that just one. Just the head? Yep, okay, just take the head of that one. thing right Did I do okay? I left that Here, let piece. Me see. Did I get too short? Nope, you're good. Wait, here's a little. Uh, Here you can see a little nub. Yeah, it's there, that's cool. coming. But yeah, you did really good. <laughs> so, I'm gonna let her keep harvesting here. These little blooms. You can use these. Or should we they are bigger? smaller. They will get a little larger. Okay, this doesn't get bigger. So, um, this does need fed. Needs a little bit of food. It's too small. Make it bigger. That one there you can actually take. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, it has all the way down. Um, I mean, you. Yeah, there's some smaller ones down there, so you can actually take that one. Down here. A yeah, that'll let like the a thinning or what? Yeah, sort of. We can sort of thin them out there because the greenhouse is heated, so it's going to extend our crop of these. 
And this is a dwarf variety. That's why they're not that tall. Okay. Yep, now this one here, you could either use this as a small accent, because you can see it has the little flowers here that are just starting to burst open. It has like the tip up here. Or you can just take the top of it and use it as like a filler and like a bowl kind of thing. So it's a pretty thin stem, so go ahead and just take the top. Okay, right here? Yeah. Yep, you can see these will all branch off here. You can see there's one little one right Make there. Make it like fuller? Branch off. Like when so you top a tree? Uh, sort of, yeah. It'll make it fuller. It'll give more branches to it. What you... Some people top their celosias. Little Christmas trees, I call them. Yeah, you call them little Christmas trees. This one here you can take a stem of for sure. But just don't cut it down the whole way. I'll see if I can get in so you can see. Okay. Okay. How? Yep, just cut it right above your second. T yep. Right here? Yep. Cut it right there. There you go. Now this one here, this here is a fresh look celosia. And you can see it is a heavy multi-branching variety. Now this one here was started later. I do have videos on my channel that I did um, last year of this variety where you can really see it when it's in its full thing. But like I said, this was started a lot later. Everything was direct seeded in here. It's pretty full. So, um... These will definitely get bigger than this, but I had a specific thing that I wanted to try with it. You can see what these here look like here. So um, back to what I was saying. Some people do actually top their celosia plants. And what it does is, is it creates a whole bunch of side flowers on it. Now they won't be as large, but that's what some people do with theirs. I like to get that first real big one and then I cut them, and then the rest of them kind of just start branching off. Sometimes, if they get enough food, and um, they get the right food, they will get, like, the larger flowers on them again. So, um, it depends on the variety, and you kind of have to look down in through here. Remember I said they'll branch off? This one here was topped right here, and they have these little ones down here. It's kind of hard to get into with the pruners, so let me see if I can just get my nail in here. There we go. I can get my nail in between. Oof. Yeah, just nip it with my nail there. And you can see these right here. So these will be nice little bowl fillers here. Are these ready or do we let these go? Um, these are just starting to okay. open, so you can, you can actually take those. Are you sure you don't want them to fill out more? We can let them fill out a little bit more. Okay. And they'll just be for like a bowl filler then. Okay. So uh, you can see here what my mom harvested off beautiful colors here and you can see how they kind of change when you get them in different lighting like we're in shade now we were in the sun in the greenhouse and these here will go like for bull fillers they um, will be dried and then we'll use them for like bull fillers these will go in arrangements and different things like that so uh, she did a great job here learning how to uh, harvest them see the beautiful colors and I did a, quite a bit of videos on my channel for our celosia, for growing it, and um, production, cut flowers. So you can check that out on there. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tell you I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!